Britain's best are ready in Rennes to continue their quest for glory. Welcome to the Grass Arena on day two of our coverage of the French Open, one of the sport's oldest and most prestigious events. Still four courts in action, as you can see, and that is the World Tour Finals Trophy. One of our massive events coming up in December, just before Christmas, only the top eight in each of the five disciplines will be there. Hope you can join us for that. Closer to hand, though, here's our lineup today, kicking off with women's doubles. This year's World Championship finalists, Raheyu and Ramadanti, starting favourites against veteran Malaysians Hu and Lim. Then we'll see the 2016 Olympic champion, Carolina Marin. She's facing off with 21-year-old Indonesian Putri Wadani. They've never met before. Tomo Popov brought the house down when he beat Kidambi Srikanth yesterday. Now the Frenchman set his sights on a repeat performance against world number two, Anthony Ginty. Then we switch back to the women, former world champion, PB Sindhu. She's shown us lately she's back to somewhere near her best, and she's won three of the last four against Superlita Katong. After that, it's our first mixed doubles match featuring Olympic bronze medalists Watanabe and Higashino, Ferdinandia and Wijaja blocking the Japanese pair's path to the quarters. Five more matches after that. You can pick out your favourites. We'll see Ranky Reddy and Shetty in the men's doubles. Jonathan Christie on the bin as well. And our swan song is Lane and Vendy against Kang and Seo in the men's doubles. Let's have a look then exactly how the women's doubles draw has panned out. We are concentrating on the bottom match there. It's the bottom match in the top half of the draw. And you can see the winners will be guaranteed Japanese opposition in the quarterfinals. Real sense of anticipation in the hall. We had quite a few shots yesterday. I wonder if that's going to be repeated again this morning. We're, oh, in fact, it's afternoon now, just after midday local time. So later start time today than we had yesterday. You can see players on court now. Just uh, one previous meeting between these two pairs. That was won by uh, Raheyu and Ramadanti. So at the Indonesian Masters last year, there it is. Round of 16, and they won in straight games, the Indonesians. I have black and red. What do you do? Red for you, black for you. What do you do? Receive who will receive? Receive who will serve? And Just going through the niceties of the toss. So let's give you some information then about these four players. Starting with Apriani Raheyu there, who is 25 years of age now. They're ranked eighth in the world. She was up at number three with Grazia Polly, of course, whom she won a, an Olympic gold medal with in Tokyo and six World Tour titles before uh, Grazia Polly's retirement. But these two, Raheyu and Ramadanti, took uh, World Cup silver. Oh, sorry, World Championship silver, I should say, in Copenhagen in August. They have won three titles as a pair, including the Hong Kong Open only last month. <coughs> Not really tested in their first round match, as you can see, against uh, Kasuma and Pratiwi. Straight game victory in just 36 minutes on court. And on the other side of the net, the ultra-experienced Malaysians, Vivian Hu, and uh, Lim Chu Xian, there's Hu. 
born in uh, Kuala Lumpur. She's got a couple of Commonwealth Games uh, gold medals. In fact, with two different partners, neither of which are the current partner today. But these uh, two are still searching for their first title of any kind. Lim there joined the national team when she was just 16 years of age. It would be a pretty big turn up if they uh, beat the number seven seeds. Although, as I say, we've had a few already. We got past uh, Cheong and Cho in two tight games in nearly an hour here yesterday. Jong Hong Leon is the Ready umpire from Korea. And she will be uh, supported by uh, Australian service judge Jeetan Bat. Calm before the storm here. Of course, we're going all the way through until Sunday when the finals mm -hmm. will be played, all five finals on Sunday. Every match on the show court live between now and then, and we're also covering matches on court two today and tomorrow. Stand by then for the umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Afiani Lahayu and Siti Fadia Siva Lamadianti, Indonesia. And on my left, Vivian Hu and Lim Chu Shen, Malaysia. Siti Fadia Siva Lahayani Titi Sof, Viva Hu, Lobo, Play. So here we go then, first shuffle, hit in anger on our second day of live coverage. might take these players a little while One, just to figure block. out the drift. We did see a lot of players going long on a consistent basis yesterday, particularly hitting towards this near end as we look. Imagine they would have probably learnt a little bit. But sometimes the drift can vary, even the day to day in the same hall. Complete misunderstanding between who and Lim there. Doesn't matter how experienced you are, sometimes you get yourself into a right muddle. It's one of those yours, no mine. Whoops. Sorry. Three love. Good serving from the Hayut. Plenty of time to put that away from mid-court, and this is an excellent start from the two Indonesians. Just what they would have wanted to settle themselves down. Oh, what a game. Absolutely fantastic play from Ramadanti. Not once, but twice. That was absolutely brilliant. Look for all the world as though that was going to be the Malaysian pair's point. Not a bit of it. Oh. 
Well, they're on the board. Which will make Vivian Hu and Lim Chi Sien feel a bit better. One, five. Right at the hit of Raheem. Well, that was a chance. Over. Didn't have to go Six. anywhere near One. the line. When you're playing well, that tends to happen. You get the run. Seven, Could easily have two. come back off the tape. Instead, rather apologetically crawled over. Stroke of good fortune for Ramadenti. Well, I think she changed her mind there the uh, line judge and that's probably why the uh, challenge Call came in originally the line judge in. signaled out then changed it to in and so unsurprisingly who and Lim want Hawkeye to check it two challenges per game per pair and if you're correct you keep it eventually it was called in and that was the wrong call as you can see correction out so who and Lim will keep the Three, challenge seven. Play. Miss Q from Raheyu. Service over A four. Nine four. The Hayes net play as ever exemplary so far. Just as soon as she hit that, Ramadanti. 
Even at 10-4 uh, up as it was, still extremely high standards. That might have been going wide. So a very handy lead, 11-5 it is at uh, the mid-game break. The number seven sees for Hayum and Remadanti. Very comfortable so far. Just a bit slow to emerge, Human Lim. 11, 5. After that Play. mid game break. they constructed well, that point five. was nigh on perfect. It's a wonderful drop shot in the middle of it from Ramadanti. And then the power of, Ramad of uh, Raheyu to finish it off. Oh. That's a good lead. 13-5. Just get the Fourteen. feeling they're getting a little bit downhearted now, uh, Hu and Lim. Four points in a row, make that five. line they want it to be uh, Hawkeye though but nonetheless if that's in that's just in. a magnificent shot because if it is in I think it'll be right on the angle of sideline and backline shot with a very small margin of error yeah it's good <laughs> oh, that's a terrific shot one challenge remaining. 15, 16, 5, play. <laughs> Service over. Well, that at least ends Six, the, the 15. horror run, so to speak. But surely the damage has long since been done in this opening game. Just Five points required for the Indonesians. We've got one more than two successive points at any stage in this game. Human Lim. times that they've gone long starting to become a, a real problem service over oh. 
seven, seventeen. Yeah, nicely done. Remember, Dante did all this great work. Rahayu applying the coup de grace. Service over, 8-19. So 12 game points here. For the number seven seeds. Game. And that'll do nicely. 21 points to eight in this opener. Only been on court for 13 minutes. Comprehensive. Second game, level play. So into game two, over. where Hu and Lim obviously will be hoping for far better. They just never really got themselves into any kind of rhythm at all. One love. I think they were five love down in the blink of an eye, and that kind of set the tone. But at least they won the first point of this second game. Maybe they can build on that. going miles wide. Uh, 
a lot of success in that first Ten game with love. more Are aggressive you? play. The the Hayu and Ramadanti. They were very aggressive. I think those longer kind of rallies that we just witnessed probably suit Hu and Lim a lot better. the longest of the match oh complete miscue so now who and Lim off to a flyer It's a lot of power over. from the, well, I say the back of the court. One, I guess it was mid-court, really, to be more precise. But nonetheless, too much for Lim to handle. Oh, nice return. Service over. Four, one. Just floated it into the space. Lovely shot. This over two four. So after Three, a tardy start four. by their standards, Raheem and Ramadanti back within a point. Last service return is a clean winner. Service over. Don't see too many of those. Five, Very three. rare that Rahayu knocks it halfway up the net in that position. These players aren't machines. defense while it lasted and they're going to challenge this and you know what maybe they get some joy in. let's have a look oh yeah first thought when she struck it was that it was long So they've got their six point uh, their three point lead back and they've got a bit of momentum. Correction out. I'm looking a lot six, more competitive three. who in Lim in this Play. second game will be uh, still relatively uh, early on. That's a beautiful piece of disguise. That really is a wonderful shot. Service over, four, six. Great imagination. And great hands, too, to affect that shot. Oh, 
Oh, oh yes. You so see that coming. Seven, Great four. angle she created there. It was really steep. Well, it's his complete role reversal in this second game. Eight, four. Him and Lynn looking by far the, the better pair now. Sure whether the Hayu and Ramadanti have maybe just taken their foot off the pedal a little bit. Five. Clearly the over. Malaysian pair Five. performing Eight. better than they did in the opening game. I think also though, Indonesian's level has dropped considerably. Touch again. Six, eight. Bit of Rahayu artistry. Difficult, she was really stretching for that. Had to be exactly the right touch, and it was. And again. Seven, eight. Yes, nicely done. So this Didn't over. panic in that position, Lynn. Nine, seven. Yes, good play. So back in charge again, and Ten, at this stage you're having favourites for this second game. Albeit we're not quite at the uh, mid-game break. So a four-point lead 11, 7, and a very healthy position for Hu and Lim looking set to level matters here. 11-7 up at the mid-game break. Twenty seconds. Cock one. Twenty seconds. So just a question of Play. trying to pick up where they left off, really, for these two. Four, Been so much better defensively who and Lim in this second game. And I think Rahayu and Ramadanti have been a bit surprised at how hard they've had, or how much harder they've had to work to win points. They're five down in, in this game now, and not, it's not just the score, it's just the momentum of the match. That Hu and Lim look much the better pair in there. Amazing how things can change so quickly. Seven. 
Service over. Second time they've done that. Eight, 12. Shouldn't be too significant, but we'll see. They just look a little bereft at the moment, don't they, Raheyu and Ramadanti? It's very strange. Service over. 9 13. Might have been going wide as well. That's a lovely shot. That really 12, is. You could have 13. placed that better with your hand. Okay. Change your okay. So, new weapon for Lynn. 12, 13. Just long, and it was just as well from who and Lim's point of view because they were 12. in no position to play it. <laughs> yeah, that was why the smile appeared. Let's look, have a look at this. They kind of weren't sure, neither of them could really get to it yet. Yours, and then they saw the outstretched arms of the uh, service judge. It's a brilliant shot and looking really good now at 15 12 15, to go and take 12. the second game. Four. That previous point, and it just went long when neither of them could have got there, might just be a little signal. Sometimes these things happen. You think, yeah, we're kind of meant to be that we're going to win this game. We'll see. Play. Again. Human limb really slowing it down. Noticeably so. It's a lovely shot. It's just so much more competitive as a contest now, isn't it? Just the rallies. Most of the rallies in this game, Lim and Hu have had the better off. Even the ones where they haven't eventually won the point. Great hands there. Every time Rahim and Ramadanti have got within one or two points in this game, Malaysians have shut the door on them, rather. So now another chance, back 14, within one. 15. Just get the feeling this is a big point coming up here. Hey, 
That'll do well. And it's Sober. happened again. Just will not let them get on terms. 16, 14. Service over. Stamps her foot in frustration, then Sixteen. So now they have got themselves level. Where's this game going to go from here? going to go wide. 17, 16. Well, really important rally, and the Malaysians come out on top. If they'd lost that point, ball. you'd have really feared for them at 18-16 down. But as it is, it's a 50-50 shootout now at the business end of game two. Once again, the Malaysians doing everything they can just to slow the match down a bit. New shuttle, little walk around, pause. Play. Empire saying, OK, enough of that. Let's get on with it, please, uh, ladies. Very good leave, and they may be going three 18, games, those two now. 17. Just think the last two points, they've been maybe a little negative. Almost like they're waiting for a mistake to come from the other side of the net. And human limits said, no, it's not happening. So they've got the edge again now, once again making their opponents wait. Wide. Service over, 18 all.
It's interesting, isn't it, that Lemon who have taken every possible opportunity to slow this game down. I think they're a bit fortunate, actually. The umpire hasn't been a bit harder on them, whereas Rahim and Ramadanti, I don't remember them going off court. So serving now at 18 all. Pressure on Rahayu. Straight down the middle is normally very effective. 19, 18. a bit tame and out of nowhere really a couple point, of match points 18. for the Indonesians that'll work well they had a few moments Eight. of anxiety in that match certainly in the second game which was a lot more competitive than the first but they've come through in straight games in the end. 39 minutes the match time. They were the better pair overall. Although for much of that second game, Hu and uh, Lim looked to have the advantage, but they just couldn't match see it out. By Afriani Lahayu Didn't play the uh, big Siti points Fabia at the end of the game Siba with anywhere Lamariati. near as much composure 8, as the Indonesians. 18. So Hu and Lim are history in the French Open. Number seven seeds, Rahayu and Ramadanti safely through to the quarterfinals tomorrow. So they were 11-7 down at one stage. And that was uh, a decent comeback. 21-8, 21-18, 39 minutes, the official match time. So the number seven seed safely through. Uh, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, it'll be women's singles featuring the 2016 Olympic champion, Carolina Marin. Stay with us.
Well, a warm welcome back to our continuing coverage of the French Open, and it's time for some women's singles next. Putri Wardani of Indonesia taking on Carolina Marin from Spain, the former Olympic champion.